The EU has vowed to increase pressure on Moscow until Ukraine is liberated as it adopted a tenth package of sanctions on Russia today. European Commission Chief Ursula von der Leyen said the bloc was turning up the pressure on those trying to circumvent EU sanctions. She said on Twitter, We now have the most far-reaching sanctions ever, depleting Russia's war arsenal and biting deep into its economy. Meanwhile, EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell warned the bloc would continue to pile more sanctions on Moscow. We will continue to increase pressure on Russia, and we will do it for as long as needed, until Ukraine is liberated from the brutal Russian aggression, he said in a statement. Mr. Borrell said the latest sanctions tackled the banking sector, Moscow's access to technology that can be used for civilian and military purposes and advanced technologies. The package adds electronic components used in Russian weapons systems retrieved on the battlefield, including drones, missiles, helicopters, as well as specific rare earth materials, electronic integrated circuits, and thermal cameras to the list of banned exports. It also imposes tighter export restrictions on another 96 entities for supporting Russia's military and industrial complex including for the first time seven Iranian entities manufacturing military drones used by Moscow. Additional restrictions are imposed on imports of goods which generate significant revenues for Russia, such as asphalt and synthetic rubber. Separately, the EU imposed sanctions on 11 individuals and seven entities linked to the Wagner Group, whose mercenaries are fighting in Ukraine. The Kremlin did not want to take Kiev in three days, a Russian pundit has claimed. In a clip shared by BBC journalist Francis Scar, Yulia Vidyazeva is heard saying on what appears to be Russian state television that yesterday Ukraine was marking their day of invincibility. They were saying that Ukraine's main achievement is that Kiev still hasn't been taken in three days as was promised, as was predicted by the American general Mark Milley, she says. Ms. Vidyazeva goes on to say that in Ukraine everyone preferred to forget the fact that these were the words of an American general. She adds, so they're all saying that we plan to take Kiev in three days. Let me repeat myself, if we had wanted to do it, we would have done it.